Back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, Nick Stubbs, with the guys from Ships Have Sailed. How's it going? Well, it's a beautiful day in a beautiful place, and we're about to play music. Couldn't be better. I look forward to it. What are you going to be playing? Well, we're going to be playing our new single, Up. Get after it. Yeah. I'm not as innocent as I used to be And I probably care too much what you think of me And it takes too much wine to put my mind at ease I know, I know But what if the whole wide world was looking up to me I spend all my life trying to set me free I don't know, I don't know Awesome. Crushed it. Thank you so much. So tell us about that. Oh, by the way, have to say it's awesome that you guys actually just released that yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good weekend, I have to say. Definitely. Also, I love your hat, by the way. Weather. I know, I had it in the back of my car. Perfect timing. <laughs> How fitting. Nautically <laughs> themed. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, yeah. All right. So it's 2017. It's early 2017 right now. Ish. 2016 was a really weird year. A I think bit. we can agree, no yeah. matter who you are. Uh, and it was 
honestly, there was a lot of really great stuff happening for us last year. We did our first full West Coast tour. We did uh, a Northeast tour. We were out on the road a lot. Um, lots of good stuff and good momentum and but like life is life and so there's all these little things that kind of come up and try to knock you down and you just have to get up and keep going and uh so this song was kind of written in a low moment uh to pull you out of it yeah i mean it kind of just wrote itself honestly and yeah. those tend to be the best ones so it was like a little bit of a melancholy moment but also like happy at the same time i don't know it's hard to if explain. you can find beauty in the darkness you're always going to be good i agree yeah, yeah that's a really good way of putting it yeah so i mean that's it it's it's called up it's out everywhere and uh we just hope it's like that little spark in the dark for for anybody who's listening i've uh, hashtag spark in the dark <laughs> <laughs> so you hashtag came... stand up <laughs> So you came out here for other projects, and uh, tell us a little bit about that, how you guys came to be. I know you do, like, you're multilateral. I mean, you do stuff on the business side as well as the uh, front end. Yeah, yeah. Um, so lots of stuff all over the music industry. I'm a producer, I'm a songwriter, um, and I moved out here having fronted projects for years, and I was just like... Uh, how salty can I be with the lingo on here? <laughs> Go for it, man. I was just like, fuck that. It's too much work. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to be the lead guitarist in somebody else's band, and they can worry about like everything. Every time you worry about other people, you always hold yourself back. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I did that for a while. It was actually really fun, um, but these songs just kind of started collecting, and uh, right around the time where the project that I was focusing on was seeing a lot of success, but also starting to crash and burn a little bit. I see like, that that happens in the music industry a little <laughs> every bit. Every now and then, right? <laughs> if, if only there were less stories like that. Um, you know, this. I, I just decided that I was going to start working on this in parallel. And so uh, my production chops weren't that great back then, but I started just producing in my home studio. It turned into a six song EP called Someday. That was the first thing that we released. And really it was just me in a vacuum that created that. And uh, put it out without anything around it and people started reacting and I was like, well, shit, I better put something together so we can actually get out on stage and that's kind of, uh, that's kind of what happened. Dude, I can dig it. What do we have forward to uh, look with the rest of it? Um, so this year we have made a goal to not have goals. Um, last year, like I said, we the ended ultimate up, goal. Yeah, right. Uh, we, which isn't to say we aren't doing anything, but last year we went, ended up out on the road a lot uh, having planned on being in the studio all year. So this song that you just heard, it's like our one single that we created last year when we were supposed to, we had set the goal to create an album, right? So this year we're, we're kind of just going to let the wind blow us wherever it takes us. We have some festival appearances and some conference appearances. Started off the year strong at Springboard Fest in San Diego. I was actually down there. It was a pretty solid event. Yeah, yeah, it was great. We had a great time. Uh, we have another uh, Millennium Music Conference out in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in late February, so cold. Uh, but that should be fun, too. And, uh, and then we're hitting up South by Southwest in March. Oh, dude, that'll and be solid. I think we're heading over to the UK in May. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Still some, you know, I's to dot and T's to cross for that one. But gotcha. uh, it's, it's a pretty solid opportunity. So we're just going to take the opportunities as they come. And we will be creating some new music this this year. We just aren't sure if it's going to be in single format, EP format, album format. We're just... You've got we're, options. We're trying to not make plans. I like it, man. Yeah. So how do people get a hold of you that don't necessarily know about you? Yeah, the best place to start is shipsofsale.com. That's our website. It has like a sidebar with a mailing list and a SoundCloud embed and like all of our social networks at ships have sailed. And uh, yeah, that's it. We love interacting with people online, so hit us up, chat with us. Excellent. Dude, yeah. thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, thanks for having us. Back in ETV.